Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to do a kind of full pixel mod conversion thingy ma bob for your Nexus 6P at least uh, running on the NPF 26F here. So to get started all you need to do is have TWRP and be on the latest NPF 26F build of Android 7.1.1 preview. That's a, that's a mouthful. So um, this zip file was provided on XDA of course, oops wrong one. Um, and pretty much it has the animated pixel nav bar where you hold it down and uh, all the colors come out. Uh, we'll see that in a second. Night mode, the blue color accent, round icons, tinted nav bar. Um, not too sure about that one, but uh, Google Assistant, of course, nav bar tuner, and the pixel live wallpapers, launcher, sounds, and boot animation in black. So we'll get to see all that. And there's just one download link and there's one add-on if you don't want the tinted nav bar, which I'll have yet to see. So it looks like um, it's just a one big flashable zip. So here it is. It's 117.9 uh, megabytes. Just quickly download it. And I guess it's easy to flash through Flashfire or TWRP or anything you'd like. I'm going to hit primary download. And of course, just to go back, you can flash the system image. I think, yeah, just the system image. So I'm gonna I'm gonna change this to keep everything organized. So I'm gonna wait for that to download, and once that's done, we're gonna copy it to our device. Or alternatively, you could have downloaded this on your device. It's the same thing, and I'm gonna flash it using Flashfire this time. So. So um, well, I'll be back when this finishes downloading. Alrighty, so it's finished downloading, and of course we can plug in our device through the USB cable, and I'm gonna have to replug it. Of course, change our USB charging to this device to transferring files, and once that is done, we can head over back to our computer, and you can see I've finished downloading the mod, and we're going to copy it to our device, just on the root of the storage here. Now it's going to copy quite quickly, or you could have downloaded this on your device, like I said before. Now once it is on your device somewhere, uh, we're going to go to our device and use Flashfire to flash this. So of course it's always, I guess, important to make backups, but uh, I like to live very dangerously. So I might skip that, but you can do, or you can definitely do backups within Flashfire. I'm going to swipe that away. Of course there is a backup here. So I think, yeah, you can just do choose one of these. I guess a normal one is just fine and of course you can back up or choose what to back up here. I'm going to leave that because the just flash the system image so I just reflash that if anything goes wrong or if I want to revert back I'm just going to flash the system image for uh, what was this the NPF 26F. So of course I'm going to type on flash zipper OTA and I'm going to locate the pixel full pixel mode zip tap on that and we're going to leave these as is and we're going to hit tick. So it's normal preserve recovery. We don't need to uh, inject a root or anything like that. And all right, that is fine. So we're going to hit the flash button here and hope that everything goes well. Hit OK. So it's been a long time since I've seen this, uh, which is quite refreshing, I guess. So it's going to reboot and do its thing. I have no idea if it works. Oh, it does. Never mind. So it's just loading all its libraries and anything else it needs. Okay, so it's, it's flashing now. It's finished. And now it's going to reboot. Now we should see the, the boot animation change. And we'll go through a whole list of things that should have been added. Which will be interesting to see. I guess if not, um, we'll just have to see uh, if the, what do you call, if anything else has changed. Okay, that looks good, that looks good. 
No, I like this one more, I think. So I guess I'm just gonna fast forward this until we get yeah, back into Android. Okay, I just heard it chime. And uh, unfortunately, you didn't get to hear that, but uh, it looks like we have our navigation bar. We're gonna tap OK, we're gonna unlock, and we'll have, we'll have a look at the Pixel Launcher. I guess wait for it to load. Wow, it does look pretty good. And we also have the round icons down here. And now I'm guessing this is the tinted navigation bar that they're talking about. And we should also have the Google Assistant. Little animation there. Oops. All right, so we have the Google Assistant. I'm just in airplane mode, so I don't get notifications everywhere. And let's see what else. So this is installed as a system app. And of course, um, I heard something about the weather. So it looks like you're gonna have to update the Pixel Launcher to get the little weather up here. Of course, you probably want an internet connection too. You know what, I'll, I'll risk it for the biscuit. We'll see everything like that. And of course, Night Mode is apparently back in, maybe as a night light. Is that what they're talking about? Uh, the video is pretty much finished here, but um, is that has that brightness thing always stayed there? It's uh, these little things that I can't really remember. So night light is yep our night mode pretty much. Can we go into settings for that? Yes, we can. Now that we'll we'll let it turn on automatically, although it's twelve in the morning or in the afternoon, I should say. Oh, right here. Okay, it will turn on automatically. You can also already see the blue accents we have around here, which is very nice. We'll have a look at the Google Assistant one more time. What's the weather like in Paris? It's zero degrees Celsius and clear there. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecast at high of six and a low of minus one. That's very cold in Paris, isn't it? Oh well. Um, maybe, oh, we'll check for an update for the Google, sorry, the Pixel Launcher. All right, there's only an update to that, which is fine. Uh, so it said if the, you didn't get an update, you'll just need to download the one from APK Mirror. I'll have the XDA developers thread linked down below anyway, so you can check that out at a later time. My internet is literally dead. Um, tops are 300 kilobytes per second. So I guess I won't be showing that today, probably. But uh, I'm pretty sure you can get the weather up there anyway. So what next? We have Navbar Tuna, which should be um, in here somewhere. So everything is blue, which looks quite nice. Moves. Yeah, all the usual. Um, where would, oh yes. It would be in the system UI Tuna. So I'm gonna hold down this little thing, let it vibrate, and it's enabled down here. And there it is, the navigation bar. I might as well turn off the internet now. Anyway, uh, we have, yeah, we can change this. See, we can add another button. Hmm, <laughs> two overview buttons. Yep, so that works quite fine as well. What's that? Oh yeah, the Google wallpapers, of course, are also there. If we tap and hold, we go into wallpapers, and there we are. So we can definitely go to some of these. I thought they had more options. Ah yes, you needed the internet for those. I remember now. There's a couple here, which looks pretty cool. Some shadows, a couple new ones I guess. We'll have a look at this. Oh, it just moves. I don't really like the grey, but there we are. So. That is the pixel mod. Everything looks just about right. Uh, glad we got the night mode back, which is probably the most thing I like most about this. So thank you guys for watching. And I do have a couple more videos coming out a little bit later. And yeah, so if you have any more suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them down over at the Maldroid subreddit. Uh, now a preferred place to put these. Uh, if you don't 
if you, you don't have to, you can just still leave a comment down below, but I guess it will be better to have everything contained into one place. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.